Hi guys, Rebecca Milland here with LivingFitFast.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about a few little tips that can help you prevent belly bloating. None of us like belly bloating and it's that when you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror and you think, yeah, I'm having a skinny day, right? And then at the end of the day, you get home and you have a big bloated belly and you're thinking, what the crap just happened there? Uh, so some tips that you can do. Uh, number one, stay away from carbonated beverages. Cokes, Diet Cokes, it doesn't matter. Uh, anything carbonated is going to leave you bloated and increase your farting, and nobody wants that anyways. So another thing about the Diet Cokes is the body processes the uh, fake sugar like it's a real calorie, so your body's sending hormones, and the hormones are thinking this is the real thing, so I'm going to store calories and fat as if it is the real thing. So just ditch the, go ahead and ditch it all, the Diet Cokes, it's just not worth it. You can drop five to ten pounds just by getting rid of real Cokes if you're drinking real Cokes, alright? So, number two, chin gum. Gum is shown to cause bloating. Uh, you're getting trapped in air in there. Um, so, ditch the gum. It's another thing that's probably not the greatest thing anyways. So, that will help decrease the bloating. Three, are you drinking enough water? If you're not drinking enough water, you're probably getting backed up in uh, digestive system-wise, and nobody likes to be constipated because it makes you feel even more bloated. So make sure you're getting your water in, all right? Um, in addition to water, you want to make sure you're eating uh, whole, real foods. If you're eating a lot of processed foods, there's not a lot of natural fiber and bulk to that. So you're probably, again, you're going to be backed up, stopped up. Your body doesn't like it. It's going to cause bloating. A lot of those chemicals and those types of things, you know, cause bloating. Potato chips, uh, you know, uh, Snickers bars, like that's just junk food. So get it out. And if your goal is weight loss and you want a flat tummy, you're not going to get it eating those types of things anyways. So focus on real whole foods. What do I mean by whole foods? I mean like lean meats. Uh, Fruits, vegetables, you know, um, food in its natural state where nothing has been added to it. So, like, if I'm talking about even pasta, whole wheat pasta, don't get the white, you know, refined types, uh, things like that. So, make sure you're getting your exercise in. Cardio, sweat out some of the excess water weight. Uh, make sure you're doing your resistance training because if you're doing cardio, you're not, your tummy's not going to get any tighter or look any firmer unless you're adding in the core training, all right? So having a tight tummy, a lot of those things are key in the right combination, okay? Uh, you want to watch your sodium. If you are going overboard and you're one of those who likes the salty and sweet, you need to find a way to get that under control and let yourself have a little and not go overboard because you're just going to, it's going to go right to your, you know, belly and you're just going to feel bloated and nasty and your jeans will fit tighter. So, especially if you're eating a lot of processed foods, those have sodium in them like crazy. Cottage cheese has a lot of sodium in it. So if you're having tons of processed foods and then eating the little things, um, won't matter as much. So if you were eating a diet where you didn't eat a lot of processed foods, the high sodium content in a cottage cheese probably wouldn't matter as much. So, but it's when you're having excessive amounts um, for the majority that you will notice that you're getting bloated. So like, please, dear gosh, ditch the, uh, what is it, those frozen dinners, Weight Watcher dinners, Smart Ones dinners, all of those types are packed with sodium. They're not going to keep you full longer. They're just a bunch of crappy chemical uh, dinners which you're having that's going to wreak havoc on your hormones. Anyway, so stay away from those. So, those are just a few tips to help prevent bloating. Uh, dandelion root tea is another great thing that helps detox, helps flush it out. It's natural. Uh, lemon is another good one. So, wake up in the morning, have Heat some water up, boil some water, add some lemon in there. That's a great start to your day. Um, but check out my tight tummy kit below if you would like uh, your free tight tummy starter kit. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the post. If you're, uh, please leave comments below. Let me know what your experiences have been. Uh, one last thing to make sure, as far as bloating goes, um, you can always try some sort of an elimination diet to make sure that you don't have any type of gluten allergy or a food allergy that could be causing the bloating. Uh, so anyways, that's all I have to say for today, but I will be talking to you soon.